Hey, Micah Files, it's Anna McHugh. I want to talk to you about coral mushrooms and also an edible species that is a coral type mushroom that is a little bit different. So this is Artemisis pixidatus, also known as the crown tip coral mushroom. It is edible, I really like it. Some people think it's not so great but uh, it's kind of um, a nice branchy treat in my estimation. I like to put them in the oven with a little bit of oil and uh, rosemary in particular, and I like these stringy little treats. But uh, in order to gather them safely, you have to get to know the lookalikes, which I've got one in my hand here. So this is a mushroom in uh, the Romeria genus. It is possible that this is specifically Romeria stricta, um, and that uh, is a particular species that is characterized by having very uh, you know, thin and straight branches. I say maybe because uh, the Romeria genus is notoriously difficult to uh, identify to specific mushroom, uh, especially unless you have uh, certain reagents to work with. A lot of these are contingent upon staining reactions when different uh, chemicals interact with them. Uh, additionally, you have microscopic and, um, you know, genetic differences. And so for my purposes, I look at uh, coral mushrooms that grow on the forest floor. And more often than not, I say, oh, that's a Romeria mushroom. And uh, I go about my day. Some people do eat Romerias, uh, but uh, there are some of them that can cause uh, gastrointestinal distress. So I do not eat them, but, you know, there are definitely some folks who do. Um, so, you know, this is one species. I have a couple of them to show you. Uh, so this is a far more, um, you know, colorful Romeria mushroom. And, uh, you know, many times you'll see them in really radical and brilliant colors. So you have orange ones. Oh, you have big sluggy ones. Uh, and uh, are you a slug or are you a No, you are definitely slug. Uh, anyway, so, you know, some of them are, are brilliantly colored. You also have a number of them that are uh, reddish or purple. Uh, we have some that are almost this champagne color with little uh, pinky tips. So uh, Romerias are really uh, varied and often quite beautiful. Uh, the thing that differentiates Romeria mushrooms from Artemisis pixidatus, even though they have a lot of similarities in the shape of the fruiting body, is that Artemisis pixidatus only grows on wood. And uh, Romeria, on the other hand, they only grow on the ground. So that is a really, like right off the bat, probably your most important thing. If you're looking at something corally and it's on the forest floor, there's a really, really good chance it's a Romeria. There are other genera that have uh, branchy appearances, and so I'm not going to say that's exclusively what it is, but more often than not, especially if it's of reasonable size. This particular uh, specimen of Artemisis pixidatus isn't all that big, but they do have, um, you know, a really distinguishing feature, which is they're branchy, but they're kind of slender. And right at the top, you can see they have a little crown or a little, uh, you know, four tips, basically, three to four, typically. And so they have this uh, nice little sort of crenellated top. And uh, so that is, uh, you know, another distinguishing thing, um, you know, but the real thing you want to look out for is Artemisis pixidatus grows on wood. Another thing that helps you, uh, can help you tell the difference between them is, uh, you know, not only uh, do they have these little tips and they're a little bit slender, Artemisis pixidatus is also a little bit uh, less fleshy uh, than Romeria. So Romeria, you know, they fall apart reasonably easy and they also have sort of traditional mushroomy flesh, whereas uh, the Artemises is a little bit more on the, uh, you know, stringy side. It's a little more fibrous and difficult to pull apart. So um, I am not going to take this one with me. I am going to set it down and see if I can get some photographs because I just love these little crown tips. Um, and then additionally, I'm going to spend some time with these Romeria because, you know, additionally, anything in, uh, you know, our terrestrial forest that looks so foreign uh, to our ecosystem, but is, you know, fundamentally a part of it is a learning opportunity that I really like to avail myself of. So I am going to set these down and uh, spend a little bit of time trying to snap some photos and stick my butt in the air and uh, proceed with the rest of my mushroom hunt.